Day seven of training camp and day two of padded practice is officially in the books for the Chicago Bears. So let's talk about this, people. What is going on, y'all? Fast Sports all back at it with another video talking. Of course, Matt Fell here to talk about the Chicago Bears and here to recap day seven of training camp for you guys. So if you're new to the channel, what are you doing? If you aren't subscribed, go ahead and do so now. You are not going to want to miss out the latest and greatest with the Chicago Bears daily videos on the channel. So make sure you do it. Go ahead and do that. And while you're at it, turn on the bell and notifications so you're notified every time I drop a new video and follow me, guys, on my social media platforms. All right, so here we go. Let's just jump right into it, people. So today, the defense pretty much dominated from an energy perspective and from a production perspective. Now, let me just say, before I dive into, you know, who specifically played well on the defensive end, this does not mean that the offense had a terrible day. This is just me saying that the defense played better than the offense today. All right? So you are going to have your, your ups and downs on both sides of the football. Just yesterday, the offense played better than the defense. So you get my point here. All right. Let's jump into it with the defense. So the defense dominated overall. And it was pretty much led by Kyler Gordon and Juquan Brisker. I mean, our two young, um, you know, secondary pieces really showed up and showed up from an energy perspective, uh, from a production perspective. Like Kyler Gordon had, um, you know, an interception on a ball thrown to Vilas Jones Jr. by Justin Fields. He had a pass breakup. He had a tackle in the backfield. And he almost sacked Justin Fields. Like just production all across and just showing up and showing out in practice. And this is a guy, man, who I feel like really is going to have a big year at that nickel spot. He's really, really just embracing it. And he is really getting comfortable at that position. Jaquan Brisker, on the other hand, at the safety spot, man, fantastic day. Back-to-back -back interceptions on Justin Fields. One of those, I will point out, was a uh, tipped pass. All right. But again, did have these interceptions. And had some pass breakups. And the important part that I talked about here is the energy level for the defense. Like they were chirping the whole time, letting the offense know that they were dominating them. Like this is what uh, I mean by when I say the defense really did dominate in terms of their, their energy level led by these two guys in Brisker and Gordon. All right. Javon Dexter, our uh, rookie defensive tackle, he also... Uh, played pretty well today, got through a double team and got a sack. So you love to see that. And just overall, that's kind of, uh, you know, in terms of the defensive unit. I will say, though, uh, we did have some missing pieces here. Uh, no Roshan Johnson again today practicing. No Justin Jones in the middle. Uh, so that's why Jervon Desser got more playing time or at least more time in practice. No Demarcus Walker, no Jack Sanborn. No Nate Davis as well. All right. Uh, so we didn't have one of our offensive linemen. And then Unfortunately, Tevin Jenkins left early today as well. He, uh, you know, left with a trainer. I'm not sure what the injury is. Hopefully he's okay and nothing serious, but just want to point that out here. But yeah, man, the main uh, takeaway is Brisker and Gordon really showed up and showed out today and played fantastic. All right. As far as the offense, look, I told you this earlier. It's not like Justin Fields was terrible or anything like that. Like, Again, he did have some interceptions, but uh, had a touchdown to DJ Moore, had some good drives in seven on sevens. Uh, you know, he was still being patient, taking what the defense was giving him, and he was able to uh, still put the ball where it needed to go, had completions to Cole Komet, DJ Moore, Robert Tunyon, and as well as Chase Claypool uh, in the two minute drill. So, overall, folks, even Justin Fields said it himself, like the defense won the day, but, you know, the offense is going to come back and get them back. And here's how I kind of go about this. You know, I obviously know that it's easy to say, oh, you know, the days that the offense played well to give them credit and then when they don't play well, make excuses for them. I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to say, look, the offense needs to go ahead and step up and they need to go ahead and, you know, play better. And I think they will. I think they will. But clearly, I love to see that the defense is picking up because, again, both units make each other better. It's only a problem, all right? Remember this. It's only a problem if one unit is dominating all throughout training camp. That's the problem, all right? That means one of your units is severely undermanned or under-talented, if you will, right? Whether that's defense or offense. 
Like if our offense was dominating every single uh, practice, I would come here and still tell you, hey, man, this this worries me a little bit about the defense, right? Uh, and vice versa. So I'm going to just point that out here. It's good to see both units kind of have their days. And again, I've mentioned this before, iron sharpens iron. It will help the offense. It will help Justin Fields as he continues to get better at picking apart the offense, excuse me, the defense. And keep this in mind about practice, all right? In practice, as opposed to a game, the offense is just going ahead and running the plays they need to run regardless of the defense, all right? They're running the plays, all right? Not going to do that as much in the game. So there's some takeaways there. There's some things to not take away. Overall, let's not freak out either which way. Let's just try to focus on, you know, the positives. And that's what happened in today's practice. And we are having both the offense and defense have their days. But I still think overall the offense has been better throughout training camp than the defense but yeah man today was not that day so let me know what you guys think about this leave a comment down below thoughts on day seven of training camp as always thanks for watching